All right. Well, uh, is Jessica gone? I think the, you just met the most introverted marketer in the world. So hello, I'm Rodolfo, Ola, Sava, and everything. Um, right, quick question so it's easier. How many of you are in sales? How many of you are salespeople? All right, I ask it again. How many of you sell plugins or teams or consultancy or development or uh, uh, anything? Right, come on, you sell everything, right? Okay, so we're all salespeople and you possibly, 95% of you agree, okay? Second question. Uh, I'm a user, I have a problem. What's the very first thing I do? Anyone? Yeah? Search, yeah, Google search, all right. So would you agree with me that despite we're all salespeople and we have products, we have plugins, we have consultancies, we have services, our users are actually searching on Google for a solution? Yeah, anyone? Cool. So what I just said is that just a tiny little percentage of people they're actually looking to buy our product. 99% of them is looking for a solution online, uh, on Google, on Facebook group, whatever it is. So I hope you just learn one little cool thing that you can implement in your business from tomorrow. Second, will you agree with me that a blog reader or a video viewer or a student who don't know you, who doesn't have a clue what you sell, but you've given them a solution, do you think they're much more likely to buy a product from you after that? Yes. All right. So you, you're trying to see where I'm getting into, into? Awesome. So I've got 10 minutes. I can't teach you much, but I can give you three tips. And the very first one is find your media. Are you more familiar with writing? Do you prefer webinars? Do you prefer audio? There must be something that you like doing, and that's the very first thing. But don't forget that you're serving a community. You're serving potential customers. So actually, is what do they like? How do they want contents? Do they want them in form of a blog, a snippet, on GitHub, on uh, Google, on YouTube? You have to figure that out, otherwise you're just going to waste all your time. And finally, um, uh, you know, what are your competitors doing and what they're not doing? Can you spot an opportunity there? So this very first step is to find out your media. After that, you have to find the topics, all right? What did I do as soon as I step up on this stage? I asked you a few questions, right? So don't tell me that you cannot ask your email subscribers or your Facebook likes or your Twitter followers what their problems are. Doesn't matter whether you sell a plugin, a team, consultancy, a product. They have problems, ask them what they need help with. I guarantee you, you'll find three, 30, 300 problems that I have right now. And if that doesn't apply, use buzzsumo.com or quora.com or Facebook groups that relate to your um, to your niche and look for how do I, has anyone, has anyone got this problem before? I'm stuck with dot, dot, dot. I guarantee you, you can find at least 12 topics right now and organize your lessons or blogs or webinars or um, audio files for the whole year, right? So we found out that your customers or potential customers are actually looking for content first and then possibly they're looking to buy your service or your plugin. So you have to be, and that's the very last tip, a regular teacher. If you do one blog today and one blog in six months' time and a video in seven months' time and then you stop, nothing is going to happen. 
people need to identify you as the teacher. And once they identify you as the teacher, then it's so much easier to sell them something that we covered in the previous, actually, three talks. So this is really relevant to what we've been saying for the last 25 minutes. So, you know, choose your media, find topics, be a regular teacher. And understand this to conclude, in the last five years, I've developed websites, I've built websites. I've never, ever received a thank you so much for that website, you saved my life. I don't know how many of you have received those emails or those calls. It didn't happen to me. I am nice, though. Um, as, however, whenever I started doing content and video classes and free lessons and snippets and uh, problem-solving tutorials, the amount of emails that you get from people and the blog comments say, you saved my day, you made me save eight hours here, you made me save, sorry, uh, the cost of a premium plugin, or you made me save a lot of things. And that's the difference. If you're a salesperson, your only goal is to sell something that no one wants. If you're a teacher, your goal is to find what topics they're looking for, what problems they have. You give them the solution, they get to know you, and then it's so much easier to sell them what you have. And it doesn't need to be relevant to the initial reason why they came to know you. So I hope this is clear. And you know, I'm not going to go through the emails that I get, because I'll start crying. So what's next? Very simple tip. Tuesday, because Monday you'll probably be tired, block out an hour, all right? Block out an hour on your diary and start brainstorming with yourself or even better with a partner or even better with a user that you know well, okay? And come up with 12 problems that your potential customers have, all right? All easy so far? One hour? Can you afford that? Cool. 12 problems to have, go and schedule three blogs, three webinars, three podcasts, if you really want to try that one, and three, some other form of information. You have to test before you can be sure which one works. In my case, it is written snippets or live online classes. I don't know your audience, so it might be different. You have to test it first. So block this hour. Find out the problems, test out the media, and go become a teacher and stop being a salesperson. That's all I have to say. My name is Rodolfo. I'm Italian. I live in Ireland. I love pizza. Thanks very much.